Breaking in this morning on the sequester cuts now in effect. Of course, meanwhile, states are looking inward as they brace for impact. My next guest represents California, which, of course, is already facing its own budget calamity, to say the least. Joining me now from Washington uh, is Golden State Congressman Adam Schiff, who also sits on the House Appropriations Committee. Congressman, it's good to see you. Thanks for being here. Craig, it's great to be with you. What do you make of uh, Speaker Boehner's point there? Well, the president did put something on the table, and in fact, uh, the Senate did vote on a compromise, a balanced approach with new revenues as well as new cuts. It got a majority of votes in the Senate, but of course, in the Senate, that's not enough. You need uh, to overcome the filibuster, which they couldn't do. But, uh, but the president has proposed for, for months, for uh, really probably years, a balanced approach that would uh, combine spending cuts, that would combine uh, reducing costs in the entitlements, uh, along with new revenues. And we've done some of that. We've done about two or three to one cuts to new revenue. But going forward with additional cuts has to be met with additional revenue. That's been the president's position. Indeed, that's what the American people voted for. Uh, but at this point, the speaker has been unwilling, and the majority of House Republicans have been unwilling to do anything more than cut. And I think it was pretty clear as of a month or two ago that the speaker intended for the sequester to go into effect. Uh, and I think you got a flavor from his interview the other day that, or, or this morning, that he really feels that the sequester is okay, yeah. that the job losses are acceptable, but that is not the right answer. I want to switch gears here and talk, to, talk about something else that, uh, that you've been fairly outspoken about, the United States Postal Service. You have been uh, trying to save a post office in your district that the, that the post office wants to close. What are your thoughts on, on how the post office uh, has, has, been, has been trying to cut costs itself? Well, I don't think they've been going about it the right way. They've been closing post offices around the country. There's a very historic, beautiful post office in Glendale they may try to close. And this has been played out all around the country. They're trying to do away with six-day delivery. The problem are much deeper than that, and they're not going to be fixed by these kind of solutions. Uh, unfortunately, because of legislation in Congress, the Postal Service has had to pre-fund the retirement plan in a, in a multi-multi-billion dollar way that no other agency has had to do. Uh, they have actually overpaid into the system, uh, and the Congressional Budget Office has, has validated this. And unless you address those big financial pressures yeah. on the Postal Service, closing the post offices here and there is not going to fix the problem. It's just going to reduce the quality of service. I'm glad you brought, I'm glad you brought, uh, brought up the pre-funding because you know that, I know that. Uh, I don't know if the average American necessarily knows that. But my question is, why won't Congress then take their hands off the post office and, and, and let it operate itself and, and run itself like a, like a 21st century business? Well, we should, but I think the reality is that there's uh, some in Congress and a majority in the House, unfortunately, that essentially want to do away with the Postal Service as we know it. Uh, so they impose these pre-funding requirements. They really starve the Postal Service of resources, and then they claim that the Post Office uh, can't run a, an efficient operation. They're well, trying to sabotage it deliberately. They set it up to fail. They set it up to fail, and it's part of starving the beast, the broader kind of Grover Norquist, starve the government to resources, degrade the quality of service. You know, I think they'd like nothing better than to cherry pick the Postal Service's most profitable routes, let the private sector take those over, let the Postal Service handle the more rural routes that are not as cost effective, and then point to the post office as being inefficiently run. Uh, it's again just part of the overall attack on government, but the Postal Service, in addition to providing a good service for generations, also provided good middle class jobs for yeah. Americans for generations, and that's something that's very much at risk. Congressman Adam Schiff from California. Congressman, thank you. Craig, great to see you. Right now, as I just mentioned, Secretary.